the Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni temporary injunction barring the register of political parties from effecting leadership changes in the party pending the hearing and determination of a matter they have filed before court. The aftermath of the court order saw Raila Odinga and a host of other leaders move with speed to recapture their Jubilee offices. Henry Tender with more. Leadership wrangles pitting two factions against each other continue to rock the Jubilee party. On Thursday, Jeremiah Kioni, who had been ejected as the party's secretary general, arrived at the party's newly acquired offices in the company of Azmio Premier Raila Odinga, his former running mate Martha Karua, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka, and Dab Kenya's Eugene Wamalwa. Jeremiah Kioni delivered a statement from political parties' dispute resolutions that stayed the changes that were effected by the Jubilee's National Executive Committee and ratified by the Registrar of the Political Parties. The Political Parties Tribunal issued an order to us, myself, Mweshuma Murade, and uh, two others. And the order is very clear. It is hereby ordered, among the many other things, that pending inter-parties hearing and determination of the application, interim conservatory orders are hereby issued, staying the respondent's decision and further staying any consequential action by the respondent towards effecting, adopting or ratifying the resolutions of the subject meeting. With the move giving him a temporary relief, Kioni maintains the faction led by Iala MP Kanini Kega did not follow the party's regulations in effecting the changes, terming such changes as inconsequential. Our constitution is very clear, the Jubilee constitution. Only the SG and the party leader can call the National Executive Committee. Pesa ya kununuwa na itakuwako, wale wako na bei, waende sokoni iko pare State House. And you can always go to State House with a placard saying, I am worth this amount of money. They will give you the money. Kioni is adamant the challenges facing the Jubilee Party are instigated by the head of state, President William Ruto, in a deliberate effort to capture the party from Azimio. William Ruto is on record as having said that he must take over Jubilee. Those attempts yeah, the attempts that you saw culminating in the meetings that you saw of people at Sarova Hotel in Nakuru. Of people who co called themselves together and uh, uh, formed a so-called neck. And that meeting happened immediately. The same team visited State House and met William Ruto there. Azimio leader Raila Odinga, who was here in solidarity with Kioni, has reiterated the opposition coalition will remain unshaken even in the face of sustained onslaught on its members by President Ruto. Kenya Kwanza administration has launched an all-out assault on our hard-won multi-party democracy. There's an all-out push by the Kenya Kwanza regime to kill other parties buy and co-opt members of parliament into its ranks and intimidate and bully all those that resist the administration's illegal and constitutional and anti-democratic maneuvers. The former premier is seeing a warning that the nation of Kenya was trading on dangerous grounds, accusing President Ruto of undermining democracy through interference with independent institutions. We are witnessing an extremely dangerous trend where investigators and prosecutors have merged in our country. When investigators and prosecutors merge, Kenyans should be very afraid because there can never be justice under such circumstances. The jubilee that we belong to, na iko kwa roho zetu, iyo jubilee iko dani ya azimio. Haro? Iko dani ya azimio. Na iyo jubilee believes in the cause that we have started through the People's Baraza. Now the resolutions of the People's Baraza, we are part and parcel of those resolutions. Even with its members dwindling day in, day out, Azmio has assured the nation it will remain united in its resolve to fight for good leadership in the country. For Jubilee Party, the coming days will determine which faction is the bona fide leadership of the empattled party. Henry Tende. Look up TV.